Welcome to Newtown Creek, home to the Newtown Creek Alliance. We're a small community-based organization dedicated to restoring, revealing, and revitalizing Newtown Creek. The mission of Newtown Creek Alliance is deeply rooted in the interconnected relationships between the water and the land and the living communities, both human and non-human, all around us. Do you guys know where we are right now? You know what borough we're in? Still in Brooklyn, exactly. So, and then on the other side of the water right here is Queens. And in between Brooklyn and Queens is Newtown Creek, the water that we're gonna travel on. Uh, Newtown Creek is connected to the East River that connects to um, the Atlantic Ocean. We're really kind of in the geographic center of New York City here. To talk about the creek, it's really important to talk about a lot of the history that's here. As we go out on the water, you'll see it's a very industrial landscape. And throughout time through the 1800s, when New York City began to grow and industrialize, Newtown Creek became one of the homes of sort of maritime industry, which is because everything back then in the 1800s was basically moved by ships, which is also one of the reasons that New York City became such a huge city in the United States, because it had great access to all the waterways. As New York City began to develop with all this industrial stuff, um, a lot of sort of unpleasant industries uh, began to conquer the shores of Newtown Creek. The creek is essentially a canal now, but what it was originally was a, a big marshland. As industry moved in, they started transforming the landscape. We lost a lot of that natural sort of marsh habitat. Despite all this history of pollution and this lost rich ecosystem that we've had. Uh, it's in some ways a hopeful story because the, the creek has really kind of hit its lowest point. We've seen, you know, the ecosystem slowly recover. So every year, you know, we're seeing more animals come back, uh, birds and fish and stuff like that. So in some ways, even though it's a polluted environment, it is, you know, on this kind of slow recovery up. So that's one of the things I think is kind of exciting to see. Here at NYC, we have always had problems with pollution entering our waterways because of the way the city is built. This is an ongoing problem most visible when it's raining and our combined sewer systems overflow, bringing untreated sewage and pollution from our streets into each and every waterway surrounding the city. Unfortunately, more recent storms like Hurricane Ida and Superstorm Sandy are increasingly the new normal. They are no longer unique or rare. To solve our ongoing problem with pollution and to address the reality of our climate crisis, we must recognize these patterns and find ways to mitigate and adapt so that living in our built environment of New York City, we are protected from the worst effects and can thrive along with existing wildlife. One of the biggest pollution sources facing Newtown Creek is combined sewer overflow. New York City, like many other older cities around the world, has a combined sewer system where sanitary pipes that carry the wastewater from our sinks, showers, and toilets combines with storm drains on the street that capture large amounts of stormwater when it is raining. With so much impervious surface in a city like New York, including all the concrete sidewalks, asphalt streets, and traditional rooftops, a small amount of rainfall can generate a huge amount of stormwater, which quickly overwhelms the combined sewer system. The treatment plants can only handle so much wastewater. So once they hit capacity, the excess combined sewage is released untreated directly to the waterways through CSO pipes. Combined sewage includes everything that is flushed down a toilet, sink or shower, as well as runoff from surrounding areas such as street litter and oil or gasoline from automobiles. This combination of pathogens, bacteria, and chemicals entering the waterway throws the local ecosystem out of balance and poses a direct threat to human health and marine wildlife. In Newtown Creek, there are 22 CSO pipes that discharge over 1 billion gallons of untreated sewage each year during rain events. Most of this comes from just four major outfalls that are inconveniently located at the head end of the most stagnant tributaries. We can all help reduce CSO through our own habitats and water consumption. Anytime it rains, there's a good chance that what you flush down your drain may go directly to a waterway like Newtown Creek. Consider waiting to do your laundry or take a shower or flush the toilet. Every drop of wastewater that you don't create during a rainstorm is a direct benefit for our waterways. Visit our website to learn more about combined sewer overflow, its direct impacts, and ways to eliminate it. 
With the help of local communities and strategic partnerships with other nonprofits, city, and state agencies, Newtown Creek Alliance has set its sights on reducing overflow of our combined sewer system into Newtown Creek and waterways across the city. You can see how we advocate for and support this effort through the green infrastructure projects we have installed in and around Newtown Creek. Some of these projects we design and manage directly. Others, we steward in partnership with community groups in the city. Rain gardens, also known as bioswales, are planted areas specifically designed to capture large amounts of stormwater and help prevent combined sewer overflow. A typical rain garden in New York City is installed on the sidewalk and has curb cuts that divert runoff flowing down the street. Once the stormwater enters the garden, it is absorbed by various plants, shrubs, and trees, as well as engineered layers of soils and sediments below the surface that, in combination, allow for efficient consumption and drainage of large amounts of water. Every gallon of stormwater that infiltrates into the ground and is kept out of storm drains helps reduce combined sewer overflow and improves the state of waterways like Newtown Creek. In addition to collecting stormwater, rain gardens provide numerous other environmental benefits. The plants improve air quality through the production of oxygen, they fight climate change through sequestering carbon, the greenery helps cool a city during warm summer months, and the plants provide habitat to various insects and bird species. Newtown Creek has over 1,400 rain gardens located in the neighborhoods that surround the creek, each one collecting thousands of gallons of stormwater per rain event. These gardens are currently maintained by the New York City Department of Environmental Protection. For more information, including maps of local rain gardens, visit their website. Green infrastructure is inspired by nature's own systems. It provides an ecological and nature-based answer to urban environmental problems. Through green roofs and rain gardens, we have the ability to implement beautiful and effective ways to make our communities and city more resilient, healthier, cooler, and habitable. Come visit us at Newton Creek. Our green roofs here at Kingsland Wildflowers in North Brooklyn it's a great place to bring a group looking to learn more through hands-on experiences. From this video, we hope you can take away some inspiration on ways to improve the quality of life in your own communities and the waters that surround us all. Thanks for watching!